gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammie and today's video is going to be my 24 week pregnancy update. I'm always out of breath I feel like. Um, today I did have my appointment so I just always wait until I have one to make these updates just so I feel like I have a better understanding of what's going on or whatever it may be. Um, so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, I don't really think there's much really to talk about. Um, so if you guys are new, I am pregnant with a baby girl and this is my second child. So today at the appointment, it was in and out really fast. There was like nobody there, it felt like. So it was just really quick. I don't even think I was in there for more than 30 minutes. Um, she said my urine looked good my blood pressure was good um i don't know how much i gained from the last appointment but i don't think it was very much maybe like two pounds maybe one pound i'm not sure i'll put it right here after i check um they did measure my belly and she said that my belly was measuring at 25 weeks which i will be 25 weeks in like a couple of days um, so that was good, and then we did get to hear her heartbeat, which I will include right now. And her heartbeat was, I think she said 161, and she said that was also good. Now, for my last update, they were concerned about um, the ultrasound, just because they couldn't get the back of her head. They didn't have me take another ultrasound, and she said the ultrasound looked fine. Um, from before that so I guess everything looked fine they didn't feel any need for concern for me to have to do an ultrasound again um, so everything looked good as far as my appointment went and my next appointment I'll be taking the glucose test which should be so fun um, but yeah it was a very quick short appointment should I do the point which is not usually what they're like they're a lot more waiting involved um, but yeah, so symptom wise, I really don't have any like symptoms. I don't have morning sickness anymore. Um, I'm eating, I feel like a lot, but I don't think it's like that much. Um, I feel large. I can tell you that I feel large. I am not sleeping well, so that's something. I don't sleep well, I can't get comfortable. Um, I have like this long pillow I sleep with in between my legs so that I'm not like rolling over before this I was a tummy sleeper and When you're pregnant, you can't sleep on your tummy So it's a little hard um, just to get comfortable and then she moves a lot or I just feel like I have like a million things that's going through my head um, So sleeping has become kind of hard to do um, to get like a good amount of sleep in and plus Parker wakes up like every night in like 2 a.m. or something um, and we have to put him back to bed um, but still again with like the discharge that's still happening it's gonna continue to happen I don't feel like I should bring it up anymore after this um, it's just a part of being pregnant I am still taking my um, baby aspirin to keep the blood pressure down low which seems to be working because I haven't had an issue with it another thing is I can no longer see parts of my body to shave um, my belly is too big when I get in the shower so it's kind of a struggle to you know do all that um let's see just things are getting more difficult now that I'm getting bigger like I'm not huge yet just things are getting a little bit more uncomfortable a little bit you know putting on shoes is a little bit harder things that are just of that nature um my back hurts quite a lot but again i had a little bit of back pain before being pregnant so of course while i'm pregnant it's gonna be like intensified but i have to like sitting up i can't sit for very long like it just starts hurting and i need to like lay down um which was a good part of the day when Parker took a nap but now he's like not wanting to take naps so I don't get time to like rest my black flat um so that's a thing just a little bit of back pain I haven't really been having headaches anymore um so and I don't really have any cravings I just feel like I just eat whatever 
Um, I haven't been really craving anything. My milk craving kind of comes and goes as of the nighttime. Um, you know, because I was craving like milk at nighttime. Sometimes I want it, sometimes I don't want it. It's not a huge deal. Um, I've been, leggings have been sitting a little weird. So I either want to have them like way up like near my boobs or like way down low because some of them are just really uncomfortable sitting on my belly. Um, I really feel like that's pretty much it. As for that, I can go ahead and show you guys how big she is. Um, so again, I'm using the What to Expect app, which I feel like in the next few weeks gets a little funky on the sizes of stuff. Um, but right now, at 24 weeks and 5 days, it says she is the size. But right now, at 24 weeks and 5 days, it says that she is the size of a pomegranate um, and about 1.3 pounds and 11.5 inches long and then I have 16 weeks left to go let's see um, it says that much of the weight comes from growing organs bones muscles and accumulating body fat so yep, that's great um, she does move a lot like a lot more than Parker did um, every night like she is moving her little tushy around in my belly She moves during the day too, but I feel like it's mostly like when I'm trying to get settled in at nighttime. But she definitely moves a lot more than Parker did, um, which I just feel like is funny just because it's an opposite thing and they're opposite genders. Um, I know everybody's different, but I just feel like that's funny for like me. Um, so she definitely is moving in there a lot, um, but I kind of just feel like that is all I really have to talk about for this pregnancy update. Um, we're super excited, you know, we're moving along, we're trying to get the nursery and everything, you know, straight and squared out. Um, we're trying to, you know, let Parker know that, hey, like, baby sister is, you know, in mommy's belly, but eventually she's going to be here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys my little bump, and I feel like that's pretty much all I have to really talk about. I didn't get an ultrasound or anything this time, so no exciting pictures to show you guys. But yeah, I'll show you guys my bump. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you will follow along my journey and along, you know, the future of this channel. So yeah, here's my bump.